Sophie Wessex was offered Kate Middleton's title, but Prince Edward stepped in. It is well known that Prince Edward and his wife Sophie shared an incredibly close bond with the late Queen before her death at the age of 96 in 2022. Prince Edward met Sophie Rhys Jones during a charity event at the Queen's Tennis Club in London and the pair announced their engagement six years later on January 6, 1999. Ahead of their wedding, the palace announced that the pair would be styled as the Earl and Countess of Wessex. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any news about the British monarchy. The news came as a surprise to the public as it was expected that the Queen's youngest son would be given a traditional dukedom like his two elder brothers. When King Charles took the throne upon the death of his mother, the longest reigning monarch, he bestowed on his brother Edward their late father Prince Philip's title, the Duke of Edinburgh. The Earl and Countess of Wessex then became known as the Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh, but you may wonder why Prince Edward held the title of Earl for so many years an Earl while his brothers and nephews were all dukes. Technically, Prince Edward was due to be given a dukedom, and he was actually the first in his position to become an earl since Tudor times. And the unusual title wasn't a snob from the Queen at all, it was actually his request to be titled the Earl of Wessex. And the reason for his choice was unexpected, but in line with his passion for theatre and the arts. It later came to light that the Queen had offered Edward the Dukedom of Cambridge, the title that Prince William and Kate were eventually granted when they married in 2011, but he refused it for a very surprising reason. The Earldom of Wessex had not been in use since the 11th century, however, Edward reportedly asked the Queen to be named after a character called Lord Wessex in his favourite film, Shakespeare in Love. A royal insider told The Telegraph in 2010 why Edward chose that name, explaining, he liked the sound of it and asked the Queen if he could have that instead. When the news came of the surprising title, it was revealed that the royal family intended for Edward to be created Duke of Edinburgh upon both the death of his father and accession of elder brother, which of course took place in due course. The Duchess of Edinburgh was last held as a courtesy title by the late Queen from her wedding to Philip in 1947 until her accession in 1952. The Countess once recalled the moment she and Prince Edward were told Prince Philip would like them to take on the title in an interview with the Telegraph. She said, we sat there slightly stunned. He literally came straight in and said, right. I'd like it very much if you would consider that. The title of Duke of Edinburgh was inherited by King Charles upon the death of Prince Philip as he was his eldest son. Now that the King has succeeded his mother, the Dukedom of Edinburgh has merged with the Crown, meaning it is free to be granted again to another royal couple. While it is thought that both the Queen and Prince Philip wished for Edward and Sophie to take on the Dukedom, the final decision of who would inherit lay with King Charles as sovereign. It certainly wasn't a done deal as far as Edward himself was concerned, who noted previously in an interview with the BBC, it was fine in theory, ages ago when it was sort of a pipe dream of my father's and of course, it will depend on whether or not the Prince of Wales, when he becomes king, whether he'll do that, so we'll wait and see. When the time came Charles did bestow the titles on his brother and sister-in-law, however, it has been reported that the dukedom will not pass on to James, Edward's son, who is now known as Earl of Wessex instead.